have, uh, when we're pressing the black ball down, we're, we're delivering fuel, air, and spark. And it only takes a spark and a little bit, a little bit of air to get it started. Once the machine is running, there's no more spark. A jet engine is 80 to 100 explosions per second. That's where we're getting our, that's where we're getting our energy. The fuel we use is gasoline. It's good to use, it's, it's important to use a high quality gasoline, maybe a little bit higher octane. Like what? Uh, 92. 92. Um, put a couple drops of stabilizer in here because with the changes in fuel in the last two years, we're finding that there's a lot of um, byproducts that are being used in the fuel that are affecting the integrity of the diaphragm and some of the other components in the fuel system. So it's really important to put a couple drops of uh, stabilizer. Okay, that's an example. Like more Stable. Like Stable. More Something uh, you'd use in your lawn mower. If the gas sits for too long, it starts to evaporate, it starts to get gummy. Can they get that from CGS? I don't know, can you? <laughs> Gasoline like, now has a pin shelf center, life for 21 days. After 21 days, it goes down. Gasoline. Oh, gasoline. Yeah. So you can get this like an auto parts store. Type Home Depot, yeah. Lowe's, yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's on yeah. me. It comes with a little squeezy bottle that you just fill up the front thing. It'll say so two ounces per yeah. five yeah. gallons. Stay bill. S-T-A-B-I-L. Yeah. That releases the fuel into the system. <clears throat> and as we're pumping, we're pumping the fuel up into the carburetors. Into the machine here. These little dials, this is our throttle, this is the gas pedal. This is how we, we, we turn it up to a certain point to start it. That's indicated here on this little uh, uh, diagram where the starting point is of the bead. Um, and then once we have the machine start, see over here, here we have a cold engine, here we have it when it's a hot engine we have to start. So what we would do is we would open it. This is for the gas. This is now releasing the gas. Started cold. Chemical comes in once Completely around. What is really important with these dials, you know, men have a real problem with this, is when we turn the machine off, we want it just turned off in a, in a gentle... Once it can't go uh, any further, it's off. We crank it down. Yeah, like yeah, the sink. You know how when men turn the taps off, we like to give that extra wrench. Yeah, don't uh, do that. Don't yeah. do that with this because okay. it'll wreck the uh, the fuel seat in the machine. Ooh. So off is off. You can't make it more off. You this is a little turn pin seat. Okay. You Basically, the valve is a pin that's that driven down into a seat. When you rub, it just comes up and down, and that regulates the amount of gasoline through. You push this down too far, it'll crack that seat and wobble it out. So you don't want to you don't want to ruin that. You can actually have a look inside here. See this here? Everybody has a look. Very very. Say, come look at this. Okay. Unscrew the whole thing and show them the needle. You better when you're up close. we got to see how delicate this is. Not delicate. Well, excuse going. me. Yeah. Um, so that's the needle. The and sauce. again, that the sits yeah. inside a seat. And that's what actually regulates the fuel going in. It's, it's really important. I mean, what I'm telling you is our number one problem in terms of growers calling, having maintenance issues with the machine, is over-torquing it in the off position. What happens when you over-torque, you give it that extra turn, you increase the inside diameter of the mouth. And when you increase the inside diameter of the mouth, we, will, we increase the droplet size of the fuel as it's being fed into the system. We want that fuel to go in also as a fog or as a vapor because we get much more ignition, better atomization uh, with that fine so you droplet. you stop it right when you feel that lock. That's right. You don't want to... Don't should, give it that extra It'll turn, turn off by... So when you turn please. it, it'll go whack. That's all you have to do. And okay. have him turn it so it's off, okay? Probably best when it's running. Right, when you get it running, you'll turn, running, it you turn it off. Like, but he get a few for it now. Off. And keep in mind, as this machine is running, you know, sometimes that'll get a little sticky, so you have to be a little bit sure, but don't make it turn. And use that bead as an indicator as to where off is. Mm -hmm. But if you feel it, okay, I've opened it up, now turn it to the off position, which is clockwise. Okay, that's off. It's not like a bottle cap or anything where you're going to tip it upside down. You're going to tip it. All you got to do is stop the full gas through that knob. Now I have this carburetor cap off. The other thing that's really important, um, and I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit, in terms of maintenance of the machine, inside this carburetor cap are two, uh, it's, a, it's a heat resistant plastic Teflon type material, and they need to be dried and cleaned. Um, 
we don't what those after every use. So what they do is they pull, well, they vibrate. Okay. And if they're wet, what happens is like two pieces of plastic, you know, with Stick moisture in between, you have to peel them apart. What's happening with this is you're regulating the amount of air in the system. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. those little diaphragms flap open to allow air in. As, it, as air gets sucked through the carburetor, it's the plastic the Teflon pieces that are regulating the air. If they stick together, if they get dirty, they start they don't regulate the right way, and that makes it harder on the air. And they're plastic. But yeah, just take this lock nut off and take it apart and just just on a, on on. I mean, I do it on my overalls for sure. Uh, put a paper towel, newspaper, anything to dry off. Put it back in. The other thing that is really important is um, if you would call us up and you say we can't get the machine started, the machine won't start. First thing that we're going to ask is, are your diaphragms dry? And you're going to say yes. The second question we're going to say is, um, was this plate put back on in the right position? See how you can read the just around that lock nut, K2, K3, K4? That's what we want to read. If that is the other way around, it'll read K10, um, then it's on backwards. Uh, the machine will not start. Or if you get it started, you will not have any horsepower, any thrust. There will be enough oxygen in the system. So that's important. The other thing, when you put the lock nut back on, make sure that it's snug so that you can still turn this. Feel how you can turn that. We don't want it on so tight that you can't turn that because what that does is that cause, if it's too tight, it causes that plate to do a little bit of a half, or a bit of a half moon, which means our diaphragms aren't seated properly. There's diaphragms in the other carburetor as well. And this should only be ha hand tight. Don't take a plumber's pliers or anything like that and, and wrench that on because at some point you won't get them off. So just, just hand tight. The whole machine. Even the gas cap can be too tight on this one. Just like any. Now when we start you want to be able to take it off. Uh, we also have on the top of the uh, on the top of the fuel tank. See this little cap here. This is our breather hole. Okay, see the, uh, for every milliliter of gasoline or every ounce of gasoline going out, we got to allow air to come back in. If this stays in a closed position, at one point the machine is just going to start working really hard, all the way open. You want it, you want to be able to see that that's, that's open. Really just maybe close a little bit if you're going to bounce around, move it around and stuff. And if the machine is running, and you would call me up and say, the machine was running fine and it installed, that's probably going to be the first question I'm going to ask. I think that came off. Is that open? Okay, okay. Because yeah. if you leave it closed, you'll actually cause a gas tank to slowly it's suck. It's suck all the air out. Okay. And then it'll stop. Okay. Yeah. okay. When you start the machine, sometimes it starts it starts fine with this close, uh, but you do have to, you do have to.
Now, the other thing is, this is very, very hot. So, do not don't touch this. It. Don't lean on it. Don't put your hands on it because it will, it would melt anything on top. Um, so, now we turn it off. Whoa. 